explored. Good morning. Today's the day the kids are back in school. Congratulations, Mom. You finally have time to get your nails done. We're going to show you some of the season's hottest nail trends. That's coming up today on Daytime. Oh, and also, before we forget, all of you teachers out there, you get a free coffee today at Starbucks, but you got to make it before 10. We also have a very special guest co-host. I just hope she survives the hour. Kimberly Crawford. Cassandra Lazenby, Mike Hernandez. This is Fox San Antonio's Daytime at 9. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, San Antonio. We have a special guest co host today. This is Rita Varios. Recognize her. She's Guys, a. Hopefully, no, because if they do, that means I look really bad, right? You now. look <laughs> fabulous right now. And thank you just you dropped. So you, thank you. You just dropped your kiddos, kiddos off at school. I sure did. Speaking of having time to do your nails, look, mine were done by my little girl. Yeah, she did. My we're going to. Your, your daughter yes. actually does some of the cool trends. Yes, she does. These uh, This nail painting trend. Yeah. I don't know if you can. Yeah, it makes that. me want to play checkers, Rita. Right? So Isn't I, that I like it. And that's what it's all about now. Anything Creativity. Goes. Anything it goes does. with nails. Today. It does. That's what Chloe's going to tell that's us over right. there. She is the expert on nails. We're going to talk to her. And again, learn how to do some of those cool nail trends at home. She says, That's right. You can do them yourself. She also looked at my nails and said, Oh, girl, <laughs> you know I make house calls. <laughs> so we get your number later, Chloe. Thank you. Okay, so I want to talk. To you, Rita, we want to we want our viewers to get to know you a little bit better. Okay. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm just so excited, so grateful to be here. We're really, so happy really you're lucky here. and blessed. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to our adorable Cassandra. Oh yes, she mm -hmm. is. Bless her heart yes. in Cabo I right know. now. But she'll be back on Wednesday. Yes. She'll be back on Wednesday. She's not surviving like you did because you were on Survivor. Fiji. That's what right. season was it? That was season 14. Okay. Survivor Fiji. How season 14. was that? Because that's kind of how you started your career here and became a, a local celebrity. Oh, you were on Survivor. Goodness. You were known as quote unquote lip gloss Rita. Lip gloss Rita. That's right. What's that about? I love well, lip gloss, but you know, it's about a lot of a lot of it has to do with the editing, and it was very ironic. It was a comment I made when I was out there about how. With our work, as you know, we need makeup as our tool for our work on television. I don't television. know what you're talking about, Rita. <laughs> yes, we need it. We need it. We need it for television and how I have to, because I have to wear so much of it for television, that in my daily life, you will catch me in a pair of pigtails. This is exactly what I said on the island, mm -hmm. out there in the mm -hmm. dirt. I said, I'm, I look a lot more like I do out here on Survivor, because all I'm doing is wearing a pair of pigtails and a little lip gloss, mm -hmm. and I'm good to go. And honey, they ran with that comment. Lip gloss Rita. And so I said, you know what? I'm just going to own it. And I'm hey. going to be lip gloss Rita. That's okay. There are a lot worse things you can be than yes. lip gloss Rita. So you, Especially on Survivor. Oh, you I know. You get a lot there. worse nicknames. You can there. get horrible names on Survivor. So you did that. You yes. get back to San Antonio. Then you decide, you know what? I'm going to use what I've done and the fact that people know me to do a lot of good stuff. And you work with a lot of charities. That's and right. And you emcee so many events. I'm really and blessed. Yeah. People probably recognize you from, from all of those things that you do. Hopefully, because they're wonderful things. I, I, like I said, I seem to have found a calling that I didn't know that I had. And actually, a lot of people don't know, Kimberly, that survivors in general, we have, we're a huge kind of fraternity. And we're out there all over the United States doing so much work for charities. Mm -hmm. Mine that I've done, to name a few of mm -hmm. them, are the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, mm -hmm. um, Eva's Heroes, and then one that we'll be talking about a little bit with yes. more detail, Healing Hearts Gala for which is, cancer. You, which is also um, one that our own Karen Martinez That's is right. very involved in That's as well. Right. She will be here, and we're going to talk to you both about, about that a event. A lot of work for cancer foundations. You are also uh -oh. a former beauty queen. Oh, oh, oh. I knew I liked There's you. Oh, There's she saw it. Wave. That's kind of that's a little bit like the queen the of wave. England and because also a beauty queen. Beauty queens. Royalty. Right, right. Do you have did you find that when you were in beauty pageants you learned to tease your hair like a mad woman? Because that's when I learned how to do it. There you go. Tease your hair and you know what, pardon the pun, survive. You, 
It is. It really <laughs> is survival. Oh, okay. So this is a picture of you. Yes. Uh, you were a finalist in uh, in, in Miss, Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela. Yes. Wow. Many many years ago. And you know, it's so funny. You were saying things that you learned. My brother actually made a comment about how he wasn't worried about me on Survivor because I had been in beauty pageant. Girl, if you can survive a beauty pageant, especially yeah, one of that magnitude, you can yes, survive. Girl. Anything, absolutely, anything, and so girls yes, can be wonderful. Yes, unfortunately, crazy. which is why you know I'm kind of a little sideline. I've become more the opposite. I'm just more about empowering, mm -hmm. and that's a little bit of something I do on the side. Is coach. Yeah. I've been uh, an official like stage presence mm -hmm. and modeling coach and a motivational coach to build these girls with that self-esteem because mm -hmm. I'm all about empowering. I, empowering I hear you. Me women. too. And you're a mommy above all else. Yes. That's your number one yes, yes. priority in life. You have two kiddos. Yes, really quickly, I tell do. me about them. I think we have a picture of both, uh -oh, of both of your kiddos. Oh, a son and so. a daughter. Oh, there they are. There's my whole family. Yay, mom and dad and my two children. That's Alan, who is 15. He is at Reagan. Go mm -hmm. Rattler! Yay! And then that's Cassia, and okay. she's 12, and she's at Lopez. Go Aww. Panthers! They're beautiful children. <laughs> I know that, that you are very, very close to them, and very you just love, 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 yes. love being a mommy. So we wanted to actually, we have a social media question every day, and okay. today we decided, to base, we decided to base it around Rita uh -oh. a little bit. So the question for today is, how are you a survivor? Oh, there we you go. We want to know. Go there to our Facebook go. page. I let us know. know. Yeah, Rita know. wants to know as well. It can be anything that you feel makes you a survivor. That's right. So that is I the question of the day. Well, again, we mentioned, Rita, the kids are back in school. Your kids are back in yes, school. Are. The teachers can get a free coffee today. Yeah. Isn't that nice until That's 10? Nice. But you've got to watch our show first. Don't be leaving. Well, that means we can't, we don't get a free coffee. Cause, I know. You know we're here. But it's good. I know. Maybe they'll extend it for us. Maybe. You know, they'll hear the I know people. Say, Starbucks, anyone please? Yeah, free exactly. For exactly. Survivor here? Here's for my survivor question. Mom? Yeah, exactly. She's a survivor. <laughs> Do you remember your first day of school? Um, I, I, you know what I don't. I wasn't that long do ago. Remember, do you know what I do remember is, thank you, bless your heart, <laughs> but I do remember my first week of school. Oh, really? Um, I was, I'm from Venezuela. Oh, it was, was a little bit different there then. So I do remember my first week, and I do remember in the first week, and I think that we do that here, where they ask you to, like, either talk about what you did over the summer. Oh, oh there yeah. you go. I was just going to go Oh, there you that. are. Okay. I was so there I am in Venezuela, a little girl. <laughs> And I Who's was that a you got there with you? I'm a, I was an, a ballerina is actually what I really wanted to be. Oh, okay. So there I am with my favorite ballerina doll, and that was my kind of show and tell. Yes. Because over the summer I had spent it in my ballet classes. So you brought that, her to school in Venezuela. So I brought my my ballerina doll to show so what I had done over the summer. Oh, you know? I love. Thank you for bringing that. And again, <laughs> we're going to be we're going to be showing our viewers first day of school pictures as well. Oh, good. So, so it's, there, not it's just no, me. it's well, no, it's but not just, how about it's yours? you. Well, I can't find mine. My mom's on vacation. Oh, my mom and dad. I'm serious. Look I'm gonna you. I'm gonna have her. You got away with that because my kids off. are going to be really happy that I embarrass myself. Oh, good. That's very important. It's very important. Not just them. Very good, Rita. Very good. So again. And we want you to send us your back to school pictures. Send them in. We're going to be doing it all week. See it, shoot it, send it on foxsanantonio.com. And this is really funny. I heard today that at Northside, they have set up these cry rooms, not oh for the kids, gosh. but for the parents, parents. of kindergartners How because is that? parents have such a hard time. And they <laughs> said, you know, we'll, we'll just make a little room where they can have coffee and talk amongst themselves Aww. and cry on each other's kind shoulders. Of a little, like, Therapy yeah, for parents exactly. The, the kids day. are fine, but oh, the yeah, parents, yeah. you know, the moms We're are the ones the that ones are sobbing that are falling, that's true. in the corner. <laughs> so that's where we sent Mike. We had to send Mike out into the oh, middle of all of the action. He? Well, he's at Allen Elementary. Okay. And I, I just have is. to ask you, Rita and I are wondering, Mike, did you see any criers this morning? No, it was all smiles out here, and this has something to do with the school. Um, we were actually here when it was Lackland City Elementary back in October when they had the parade, and I dressed as Gumby, and it was a great tradition. We're here this morning. It is now Larry D. Allen Elementary. We're going to tell you about that name change. We're actually going to meet the man here in just a few minutes, but I wanted to introduce or reintroduce to you. You may recognize her from when we were here for the Halloween parade. This is Maria Elena Mesa, and she's the principal here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Welcome, Mr. Hernandez, to Jerry D. Allen Elementary. Jerry D. Allen Elementary. And, and the thing about it is, is I was here a while back and, and, and today, this morning, there's such a culture of, of friendliness and uh, you just, you just kind of get absorbed in this warm feeling. So you guys have done a wonderful job of that. 
Thank you. Um, it's a culture that has been established over the years. Our expectation is that we continue to cultivate that family atmosphere where everybody feels welcome, where the kids are happy, staff is happy. Yeah, we, we shoot, uh, shot a video of it earlier today of the kids and the moms and dads bringing their kids. I was really impressed. It went very, very smooth. Absolutely. Everybody looked happy and ready to go, ready to learn. And it was even more special today because it was our first day as Jerry D. Allen Elementary, and we had our namesake here. So it was, what a great tribute. Yeah, and he was out there greeting the kids and everything. So that was wonderful. And as I mentioned, we're going to meet Mr. Allen here in just a few minutes. Congratulations on the first morning. So far, so good. So far, so good. So it went smooth. It's all all the kids are in class. Here. Everybody's in class. Very, very good. Don't go away. We have, uh, again, the former principal here. We're going to tell you his story. He's going to be talking about it. And we're also going to be sharing some of the other things that are going to be going on uh, across uh, the district. So don't go away. We'll be right back. We're coming to you live from Jerry D. Allen Elementary. Awesome. Thank you, Mike. They're so little. I know. You forget how kids. little they're, they are in kindergarten. They're adorable. And that first day is so hard for, for them, too. For them, too. I'm already dreading it. I, my, my oldest is three and a half, and I'm oh. going, oh, no, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it. But what's funny is you see them walk with their backpacks, oh, and they're no. bigger than they are, and they're kind of, you know, they have so many books. Sometimes you see them walking home, they can barely they can hit hold them, the, even, and that the gets little worse, backpacks honey. up. That gets worse. And my daughter said the cutest thing to me this morning. What? Really. She said, Mommy, I don't want to go back to school because I don't want you to forget about me. Oh, when as I'm if. School, I'm like, really? As Seriously? If. <laughs> You're like, I'm so going to enjoy the time, yeah. but I'm not going to forget gonna go about you. I'm going to get my free Starbucks and get my nails, nails done. done. No, no because she did your nails. my nail doer, that's right. We're going to show okay. our viewers a little, in a little yes. bit just how, how artistic she that. is. Yeah. Okay, well, Rita, don't go anywhere. She's well, sticking around for the, don't for the hour. Off. If you don't vote I, me off, I will stick around. I hope you survive it. It can be. I'm gonna try. It I'm, can be crazy. Are you intense? I'm a little intense. I'm okay. laid back, but I'm. I'm, I'm ready. And we're good. You. We're good. Okay, <laughs> coming up: free movies, free golf, free dining. The new edition of the Book of the free, free is out. Do you remember the Book of Free from last year? Yes. They wow. raised over $150,000 for charity, and they're ready to do it again. We're going to show you where you can get yours. Plus, we're giving you the 411 on how you can sport the trendiest manicures without having to dish out a whole lot of money at a nail salon. That's coming up after the break. Daytime at 9. We'll be right back. I'm Deborah, and I'm a proud Wainwright client. My car accident caused knee and shoulder injuries. Wainwright got me $116,580. You deserve respect and justice, so we demand it. Concord offers accelerated health care programs designed to get you working in as few as nine months. Become a medical assistant, a dental assistant in as few as nine months. Concord Career College is the choice for healthcare training, the kind of healthcare education that leads to employment. Concord Career College, healthcare training for employment. Call Concord right now at 800 620 7187. That's 800 620 7187. Now through Monday, Labor Day, decorate your home with great looks from Cindy Crawford Home and Rooms to Go. Get big savings and get financing even better than before with no money down and no interest until January 2017. It's Rooms to Go and interest-free financing at its best. No money down and no interest until January 2017. Suddenly I'm now through Monday, Labor Day, only at Rooms to Go. Chamagacha Brazilian Steakhouse, an authentic churrascaria from southern Brazil, bountiful salad bar, 14 different cuts of meat. Be pampered by the tableside service from the gauchos. Chamagacha Brazilian Steakhouse. Come experience the essence of a Brazilian steakhouse. Located off the 1604 access road between Stone Oak and Blanco. For reservation, please call 564-9400. My neighbor's tree fell into my yard and on top of me, causing foot injuries and a crushed ankle. Wainwright got me $148,693. You deserve respect and justice, so we demand it. Welcome back. Those are so cool, Rita. Done by my daughter. I, that's what I hear. Well, there are so many nail trends out there. You want to try them at home, but it can be intimidating, at least for someone like me. 
if you look at my nails, Me that too, will, honey. I'm not. I really don't even want you to look at my nails. <laughs> anyway, Me we're going to learn how you can get those trends at home. Chloe Reed is with TNC Hair and Nail Salon, and you're going to show us some really great tips and also... You know, you're going to make it easy for us because it is scary when you see these things on, you know, on TV or in a magazine. On these it's, girls. Yes. Oh, yes. It looks yes. hard. It looks hard, but I mean, YouTube is a good resource for people like if they want to check out YouTube for, you know, design ideas yeah. and everything else like that. I have or they can come see you. They can come see me, definitely. I have a couple of tips and tricks on my website as Literally well. Literally tips. Yes, mm -hmm. tips and tricks <laughs> that um, people can do at home. The best thing you can do for your nail is preparation. And that's what people need to understand. Once you prep your nail... Look, you can get any design you want, and nobody knows that you messed up on the design but you. So keep it to yourself. Yeah, I think people would know I messed up, <laughs> Chloe. Here's my question. The first thing you're going to do is show us how to just polish your nails exactly. so they don't chip. Exactly. You didn't believe me when I said, I did these nails last night. Yes. And look at it. Do you see the look on her face? Yee. Ooh. So anyway, mine always chip literally by the next morning. Okay, question for you. Did you use a base coat? I did, mm -hmm. and I buffed them. Did you cap the edges? What do you mean by cap the edges? When I put oh, around that part. Yeah, Ooh, because that's the part that comes in contact with most stuff. And you're not supposed to use your nails to do things, but see as I massage my base coat to the back and uh -huh. bring it to the front. So how important is the base coat? Very important. There's what the base the coat does that's is it helps like it that. stick to the nail. It's an adhesion I thing. always see those ladies doing that when I get my nails mm -hmm. in. It makes sense now. So this will also keep your nail bed from turning the color of the polish. Definitely. Oh, so wow. see how my mom has kind of like an orangey tint? So she probably had a red or, or a Ooh, something red. like that. And she knows better, right? She You've had a red or something outed. on there and she didn't use it. Okay, so, so the first thing, thing is prep the nail. Prep the nail. Some people, they might have like an oily nail bed. So what you can do for that is you would get like a lintless wipe and you put a little alcohol on your lintless wipe and you would wipe that down the nail bed because nothing can stick to an oily surface. Mm. Mm. So if you do that, that's okay. another tip to make it. Okay. To now we only have three polish. minutes, so we're going to have to move along here, Chloe. Yeah. So then you do that and then when and you show polish, me how to paint like an artiste. The same way that you... <laughs> Put your base coat on is what you do with polish. I massage mine to the back. That way I get full coverage. Bring it down, side, side, center. Bring it down again. I'm ready to see the cap. The cap. cap the there edge. it is, girl. That's yeah. going to make a difference, isn't it? It's going to make a big difference. <laughs> okay, and then you want to put a clear coat on that. Definitely. A top coat. I like a base coat and a top coat separate, only because it can't be sticky and shiny at the same time. And is there any way to make them dry quicker? Because I never have the patience. I'm always doing other things, With and that's polish, when I get messed up. No. You want to make sure you have enough time to do it. You can get a quick dry polish, but there's still going to be, it's a set time. Okay. You want it to get done? Just make sure you have nothing else to do right after. I always have. I mean, I have two little toddlers. Yeah. I always have oh, a lot to do. You always have something to do right after. Do. Okay, <laughs> so that's how to just do a good polish, polish. at home. Okay. Now, what if I go, I got the polish down, now I want to be artsy. You want to do little Ooh, yeah. Art is so simple. Her polish is still wet. The glitter train is in. Just take Ooh. a little glitter, tap it right on there. Ooh. Oh, wow. You so you don't have to get the glitter polish. You yeah. can go. Oh, wow. Look at no. that. And the secret is to, to of oh course, gosh, tap it on there. It, you don't have to when get expensive wet. glitter or anything. Right when it's wet, because that's when it's sticky. Oh, so oh that's so cute. That that so can you get cute. that at a regular store? Oh, yeah. I got this at a local craft store. And a it's craft already store. A craft store? store? Yeah. Not no. the nail section. No. You went to Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I went yeah. to Michael's. Oh, I want you're a Paul. genius. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what if I said, I'm going to do a flower. I want to do polka dots. Oh, you want to do a flower? What do I use for that? I use craft paint only because it shows up better than nail polish. Uh -huh. And of course, you can get you a little dotter tool that you get from, you know, the beauty supplier or whatnot. And Linda, can you do this like kind of stuff? I Are do. you crafty? I am. Yeah, I can you do. can fact, even use I a toothpick. I was doing uh, for our sister Fox station for Utilissima. These are the type of segments I was doing, showing how to do these beauty tips. Well, are you so, fancy schmancy? I don't yes. know how to do any of this. So maybe I'll come back and. And do, and do a nail segment with us. Tips. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, this is a flower, isn't and it? And I was going to say, you can use a toothpick. Yep, you can use ladies, anything you want to use. So easy, so simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have one more minute. So that was easy. You just dotted it on there. Dotted it on there. Now, how about some bling? Because, you know, bling. that's really big. Ooh, you know, more blingy bling. than the, than the uh, glitter. Than the glitter? Yeah, how would you do that? Rhinestones. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Look how they are. That's they beautiful. Shimmer. How do you stick them on there? Oh, so simple. You just get your top coat, and before you do it, because you want to make sure they last a little bit longer, mm -hmm. you get your top coat, you're going to put that on the nail. Oh, so you use the top coat to make it your stick. Glue. Yep. And, and you always want to put a little bit of top coat on, on top of the okay. rhinestone. To make now, we have one. like a minute, Chloe, so we we'll see how fast she can work. Oh, I'm look, getting the wrap. You know what? It. I'm going to let you continue to work. We'll talk there about the is. crackle look Ooh. in a little bit because okay, I want to learn how to do that as well. Thank you guys so much. For more information, you can go to T and C 
Hair and Nail Salon, or GlamNails.com. And you have some tips on there, you said. I sure Chloe. do. Nice. I need to go and yes, see you. Do. You do make house calls, you said. I do make house calls, yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll be calling you after the show. Keep on sending us your back to school pictures. We want to see them. We're going to be showing them all week. Go to FoxSanAntonio.com, upload it at See It, Shoot It, Send It. And Mike is also live at Allen Elementary. And he's having a good time. He said he's, he didn't see any criers today, I was Rita. Say he's not crying. No well, crying Mike, from Mike, I don't think. Well, of course, Mike are. cried. Yes, but <laughs> the children didn't cry. So we'll have more with Mike as well on the first day of school back when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Is your problem a lousy job? Well, I got tired of living paycheck to paycheck, pretty much. You know. What's your plan? I'm ready to start working and get my career started. Why Career Point? The teachers are, uh, they're professionals, so they've all worked in the medical field, so they know, they know what they're talking about. I, I've been here for eight months, and I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I, I love the place. Call Career Point College now, 732-3000. These men are wearing similar glasses. However, the man on the left paid $200, while the guy on the right, just $57.92 at iMart Express. The guy on the right also got his glasses in about an hour, a free frame warranty, and another pair of glasses. Oh, and the guy on the right's mother, she also got a great deal. Two pairs of no-line bifocals for just $77.92. So do the right thing and save at iMart Express. We now have seven San Antonio area locations to serve you better. Go to iMartExpress.com. The magic of nature blooms in every seed, in deep red apples and in each golden bead. It blends into a perfect crunch you'll savor, giving us the most perfect lesson in flavor. Nature Valley. Nature at its most delicious. Granola Thins from Nature Valley. Crispy granola layered with creamy peanut butter or rich dark chocolate flavor. 90 calories, 100% natural, and nature approves. Granola Thins from Nature Valley. Nature at its most delicious. Everyone's talking about them. More people are driving them. They're world car Kias. Take your pick. 2013 Kia Souls or Fortes. Just $189 a month. 2013 Kia Optimas or Sorrentos. Just $249 a month. Kia, Kia. Plus only a world car Kia. Will you receive a lifetime warranty and lifetime roadside assistance? Good credit or credit problems? We've got the solutions. Now's the time to trade. Nice cars on a lifetime of protection are only at World Car Kia. North, South, or New Braunfels. World Car Kia for a lifetime. What do you think about going to school for the first time ever? It's going to be cool. Yeah. Are you going to be ready for kindergarten? What, are you excited about anything? What are you excited about? I didn't know. And what is your name, sweetheart? Ethan. What do you think about going to school for the first time? Good. Good. What What are you looking forward to the most? What do you, what's, What do you think is going to be the most fun? Um, playing with all the kids. Playing with all the kids. <laughs> all right. And have you going to make a lot of new friends? You think? Mm-hmm. Okay. And what is your What, what do you want to learn about the most? Um, math and science. I have a pen, a marker. Um. A notebook, a ruler, um, pencils, and a backpack and a lunchbox. Very cool. What's your lunchbox made of? What's it? What's the, what's on the cover? Superheroes. So which one? I have all of them. Superheroes. Duh. Oh, Rita. Well, you, you that know, reminds me of I, someone. I, I was Did you see the mom? First day at school. The mom kept going. <laughs> Stop it. This is your chance. Take your, get that hair out of your face. They're so precious. And I love the little boy that said, I have a pen, a pencil, a notebook, you know, just like one of each. Yes, his whole school supply. So list. cute. Well, again, the big news is the kids are back in school today. The bell is rung. They're, they're learning. And Mike, he is live at Allen Elementary School. Mike, how does it feel? You know that smell? When you go to school, there's just a smell in elementary school that... It brings back memories, right? Yes. It's like glue and crayons. You know what? In elementary school, you have that real joy 
that you get, um, that the kids sometimes lose a little later on in, in middle school and in high school, but everybody loves going to school when you're in elementary school. And we are at, at Allen Elementary. This is Jerry D. Allen Elementary. This is Jerry D. Allen, the namesake. Congratulations first Thank you. on Thank having you so a school much. named after you. Mm -hmm. Tell us the story. Now, you were the principal here for 25 years, correct? Yes, uh, I uh, had been in education 42 years. I came here and I just fell in love with the school, the community, uh, everything about it. And I certainly uh, was flabbergasted when they chose to name this school for me. Now that's got to be an amazing feeling, okay? Yeah. I mean, to have something like a like a school named after you, one that that you helped put together, that you helped put the the inspiration and, and the motivation that these kids have taken generations now, and and have uh, been successful because you have a very successful school here. Yes, and uh, you know, I have a successful school, but I have extremely successful teachers. They are dedicated to their children. Uh, our kids are uh, uh, dedicated to the fact that they know they need to perform. And, and I like I like what you uh, what you instill in the kids. You know, uh, you have to believe to achieve is one of y'all's mottos. Yes. And the other is um, about the, the wings and and having the foundation. Roots. And how is that? Well. In the we first develop roots in children, and that's the basics that they will use to spread their wings as they get a little older and move into the areas that they're most interested in learning about. Well, I, I, we actually uh, talked to a couple of kids this morning and uh, as they were coming into school and, and asked them what they thought, and actually you came up in the conversation, so take a listen to this. What do you think about the first day of school? Awesome. What do you like about it? Um, that they changed the name. Really? Did you do you like the principal? Mm -hmm. You know, he retired, right? Yeah. Did you know him? Yes. All right. What kind of guy was he? He was a nice guy. What do you think about coming back to school? It's good. It's perfect. What grade are you? Six. Six. Why do you like school? Because it helps you in life. How? Like in your jobs or when something you need it. In school, what you learn in school is going to be helpful. So beautiful kids out there, and they're all excited about the first day. I was, uh, I'm, I'm always amazed at how smart they sound that early. <laughs> but again, um, you, uh, you made an impression even with one of the children who apparently knew you from when you were principal. So you, you, you still, even though you've been gone here for a little bit, you still have an impression, and it's long-lasting. Again, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out and spending right. the day with them. It was hugs and kisses this morning <laughs> for all the kids and the parents as well. And again, we're coming to you from now, the new Jerry D. Allen Elementary, and this is uh, uh, formerly Lackland City Elementary, and again, a lot of traditions remain the same, the love and the inspiration and the teaching and the motivation and, and all the dedication, though, it stays here, what you started. Thank you, sir. Right, we're going to send it back to you. Hey, had a lot of fun. Ladies, I could go back to school right now as a teacher, if I could teach in elementary school. Yes, and you know, Mike, all the teachers get a free coffee at Starbucks today. Really? Yes. Cool. So tell everyone while you're there. Okay, I will. I'll pass the word. All right. See you in a little bit. Oh, I love the first day of school. I do too. Well, we've been asking you all morning to send us your back-to-school pictures, and we have one. This is a special one. Kennedy. She's going to second grade. And yeah, I have to say, I'm liking the shiny toms there. I you see them? They're a little blingy. Yeah, they're in. She's in style. There. She is. She's a little fashionista, so and she's, she's heading to second grade. She is my niece. She is. She's tan. She was at the pool just a little bit this yes. summer. Can you tell? She's rocking the tan. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I love you, sweetie. Have a good day. And we want to see your pictures, too. Send them to foxsanantonio.com. See it. Shoot it. Send it. You got it, girl. <laughs> and stay tuned later in the show. We're giving away some tickets to a Silver Stars game. Oh, wow. Have you ever been to one? Well, do you know what? I was there in arena host. I was well, the in arena host for the Silver Stars Well, there Stars you go. I have, never, I have never been to a game, so we're going to tell you how you can earn also uh, your charity. Thousands and thousands of dollars with a little red book you may have heard of. That's coming up after the break. San Antonio, let's talk. Join me on the Ricky Lake Show, weekdays at 4 p.m. right here on Fox San Antonio. 
Hey, nice car. Thanks, but all my cash is going in the gas tank. Well, maybe it's time you got cash out of your car. With a title loan from Speedy Cash, you get up to $10,000 in cash on the spot. Hmm. Whoa! Now that's a nice change. Speedy Cash title loans are usually half the rate of most other title loans. They'll beat any competitor's rate, and qualifying is a breeze, so you get your cash fast. Thanks! Get cash out of your car with a title loan from Speedy Cash. Love that Speedy Cash. Whether it's after practice or a trip to the mall, your family can always count on you to serve them the food they love. That's because with new Tender Crunchers, now anytime is the perfect time for churches. Tender Crunchers are boneless, hand-breaded, all-white meat chicken served with your choice of four tasty sauces. And for a limited time, try them with our crispy fries for only $2.99. So, even when you're not around the table, you can still serve your family a meal you can feel good about with new Tender Crunchers. Only at churches. You bring it home. Non-attorney spokespeople. If you were injured in a car accident, call attorney Chris Pettit. Chris Pettit and his staff can start working on your case fast. After an accident, if you can't come to Chris Pettit's office, they can come to you. Attorney Chris Pettit will try to get all the money you deserve for medical bills, lost wages, and pain and suffering. Don't deal with the big insurance companies alone. Put Attorney Chris Pettit's experience to work for you. Call Chris Pettit and Associates at 1-800-INJURED. Injured in a car accident? You better call Chris. It's inside. Good health. It's in here. Begins inside. Here. With the exclusive probiotic. It's here. Lactobacillus casei Sharota. Here. Yakult helps balance your digestive system and supports overall health, which is why 28 million people all over the world drink it every day. Try the original Yakult and new Yakult Light. Well, it is almost that time of year again. Book of free time. Last year, let me have that, Fran. Last year was the first year, and this little red book right here managed to raise over $150,000 for local charities. Fran Yanity is the spokesperson for the book of free. She is here along with Peggy Ferguson. They are going to tell us all about the new book of free, which is available starting October 1st. October 1st. What's different about it this year, Fran? Because it's $50. That's the same as last year. You get $1,500 bucks right, exactly. in free stuff. In free stuff all over San Antonio. Wonderful offers. It's a great opportunity for consumers and, of course, the charities. Yes. We definitely want to have as many charities as possible, nonprofits, school organizations. They can sell the book of free. And, of course, what's new this year, they can make more money. They can make $20 per book. Oh, wow. So it's a great fundraising opportunity for them. Sure. And, the, and the, the cool thing is, if people haven't heard of it, again, it was very successful last year. People didn't even believe that it was real. They said 50 bucks, and you get $1,500 in free stuff. And I'm talking amazing dining. Absolutely. Right? Entertainment, like movies and free bowling. Free movies, bowling, sporting events, free golf. Oh, my God. I mean, it, it's just incredible when you look at what's in the book. I mean, right. it's a great way for consumers to extend their budget and get to do all those wonderful entertainment things that they like to do for, for 50 free. bucks, yeah. basically. Yeah. It'll keep you busy for the whole year. And again, the main reason that, that the Book of Free is even here is to help local charities. And, and Peggy, what I know last year you raised over $150,000 for local charities. How has that money benefited some of these area organizations? Well, um... You know, we were able to um, give it to many different charities, and um, this year it's a very simple process. Charities simply sign up to participate. Mm -hmm. uh, we send them a customized email that they can send to their supporters, and they sell the book and make $20 per book. Okay, so any charity, if there's somebody watching right now and they, want their, they would like to get involved with Book of Free, be a part of it, their charity, because at the end, after you all of the sales of the Book of Free, you go and you kind of divvy it up and give it to all the charities. How can they be a part of it if they want to be in the Book of Free? Uh, they simply go to bookoffreeinfo.com, and there's a lot more information there, and they can contact me, and uh, they need to sign up to participate. Got to get in good with Peggy. <laughs> She's the one. So, again, you can go to bookoffreeinfo.com, and when will we see a list of all of the actual certificates? Well, there's going to be a sneak peek starting on September 4th um, on the Book of Free Facebook page. Okay. And, of course, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. And you we'll better. Talk